and grab the founder of uh, Bodynamic. This founder, Lisbeth Marga, also happens to be my mother. So I grew up with her <laughs> and uh, she taught me something in my childhood that uh, and my in my adolescence uh, that have been very important for my way of being in life and i think being in life as a more satisfied uh, person with more realistic expectation into the world and one of them was that when i was a child she very early on told me that there is no justice. Don't try to find justice in life. You do that, you will be unhappy. Justice is an illusion. So now when I have a chance to sit with you here, uh, I would like you to elaborate a little, Lisbeth, on, on uh, justice. When is it this sense of justice really is developed? Uh, it can first be developed around the uh, between two and four, five years, when the child is what we call in biodynamic, what we call will structure, because before the brain are not able to to do it, and um, it is the the time where the child learn to choose, and uh, it learn to separate good and bad and law and not law and all this duality. Uh, so it's an age where it really starts to realize black we and white the dualities of life. Yeah, we get conscious about yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Power, powerless. And uh, there it also comes in. What is uh, justice? Yeah. Oh, this is not fair. Yeah. And I think... Uh, but in Denmark, we don't have two words, so you use the justice. And uh, I say, but it don't exist. Because uh, it is a, a word, the first is developed around law, and means the law make it happen. And therefore, it is an abstract word that we think we could grasp, and or the child think they could grasp it. And that there should be something that was fair, mm. but it don't exist in the world. So it also means that uh, I know that in this age, the child also starts really to develop magical thinking. Yes. It starts to develop, uh, if I do you a favor, you do me a favor. If I'm good to you, you have to be good to me. Uh, so the whole principle about a tomato for a tomato. Uh, uh, so, so in these developments, uh, age, we can get stuck. Huh? Yeah, you can make what we call, uh, in the brain, you make some coding system and it gets closed. That means that you get stuck in it. You think the world is like that. So that's also what, it is people, a defense will call, that also what people will call defense system. Yes, huh? it yeah. is a defense yeah. system. It's defense system to, uh, when we take the choice, yeah. Then every time you choose something, you had to let go of something else. Yeah. If you choose a, a little ice cream because that has some special taste, you cannot get the big one. So we start to choose uh, between, but we often don't see the consequence, the consequence yeah. of letting go. Yeah. And when I have people, they are older people, they live their life, but they still have this inside. Then I will teach them how to look at what consequences are. So, so the ability when you get, so just for me to understand. So if you get into life is not fair, or life is justice, or I'm looking for justice, then you also get into uh, not really being able to fully make a choice and take the consequences of your choice because you fall into if the choice is not good then uh, uh, then it's instead of seeing 
the consequences, then it becomes unjust or not unjust, fair. Yes. Yeah. And, and a lot of people have that. And it also means that you in some way get stuck uh, in your life because uh, when it is not fair, it is like, doesn't matter how much you do, something can happen. So it shouldn't be like that. It is just as... And so, so again, for me to understand, uh, so if you're really trying to be a good person and then, you know, something bad happened in life, so instead of seeing it as a situation in life, you see it like you are punished for something and it's not and, fair. And you don't know what it is because mm -hmm. you had tried to be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Is it also so that if you live very much around the principle of seeking justice or seeking, or it has to be fair, that you can end up, when you get older, being bitter on life? Of course, because yeah. it is like the life owes you something. Yeah. That you never got. Huh? It is not only coming from the need that a lot of other systems is talking about, it's also coming from this time. Yeah. Because it's like, I've done the right thing, and then I don't get it. I get something totally other. So, yeah. Yeah. Is it also the people and who live get with, depressed? Yeah. Is it also so, like this, this? When someone lives with uh, the principle of justice in them, they also live with that if I am a good person, I give you something then you owe me something again. So they constantly have a, uh, uh, you know, uh, a credit card, you know, <laughs> where I, you are in credit to me or he's in credit to me uh, because I gave you something that they have a hard time just giving from themselves without an expectation. Uh, yeah, and often you don't know they have this, in, uh, that they are thinking they had, they had to get something back. The expectation. The expectation. Because they don't uh, have that words in them. They never learned that. They learned that they sh should give and give. And yeah. But then, of course, if, if they never get back, it's not fun more. No. And some and of them, especially when it is in the beginning of the character structure, that age level, then they get depressed. If it is later, yeah. then they get more, push it out to the other. Being the angry. world is unfair. Unfair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when, when you, when you uh, work with clients, when you get people in and who are really stuck in this way of looking at the world that the world, I'm looking for justice in the world. I'm looking for fairness. Uh, I want to get that. And if I don't get that, I'm falling into a sadness or anger or dis disappointment. Or bitterness. Or bitterness. So uh, what, what would you do? I, what I, if I'm falling into... No, <laughs> what would you do with your clients there? Yeah, I, I, uh, I start to let them uh, work with it both mental and from the body. I start to let them find out if you choose this, what is it you cannot get? And that could be, I come with, do you want a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a cup of water? Yeah. And, and then I say, okay. So then say goodbye to the other. Yeah. And I let them do it with the hand and let go. Yeah and let them sense the muscle up here that you use for it. Yeah. And the, especially the backside of the deltoid. Yeah. And I let them do this. Mm. And uh, so I work with a ca contract. Yeah. You want to change this. And from there, I look at what happened in the body. And I know it must have to do with the will structure when they describe it this way. So I work with the mental level and the body level and the action in the body. 
in the so action, the, not the only the physical action. The physical action yeah. together with the verbal action. Yeah. I have had an experience when I have worked with clients, I don't know if you recognize this, the people who are pretty stuck here or yes. have a hard time here um, also have a, <coughs> a tendency to have uh, difficult to make a choice because as soon as they make the choice, they start looking at what they lose instead of looking at the goal of where yeah. they are going. So it gets them stuck in not moving forward. Is that also your experience? Yes, absolutely. So you really had to uh, start with small things in their yeah. life. That's not so important. So they start to have some being able to do it <coughs> Sorry. without losing too much. Yeah. And then you can go up to what they coming into the therapeutic room with later. Yeah. Because it, it hurt. It, uh, and they are uh, saying goodbye to things can really hurt the heart. So uh, now I, I also know, and you know, I know that uh, in this age, magical thinking go in, in the astral layer. And uh, I often uh, have noticed that even this justice or no fair moves all the way into this layer of a person so it moves into the magical thinking of people have you had that experience too the fun thing is yes i have but the fun thing is magical thinking <coughs> baby have it and it go the whole way up but in the real structure you get conscious about it yeah and you start to also make fantasy. Yeah. So you have extrasensory experience that all, be, all small kids have. Yeah. And you have also this uh, fantasy level. It's the best actors. It's I mean, a what? Best actors. The best actors. Yeah, yeah. he's so good at it. Yeah. Because every character structure also have a lot of resources to of special course. things. Yeah, of course. Uh, so, and some of them start to be scared when they had to make it more concrete. Yeah. They if, had the fear of losing the fun they had. Yeah. It's also in this age you can start to make jokes. So... You know, when I, when I was asking you, please, can we not sit and have talk? Can I not ask you some uh, questions that have been very important for me? Mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning, you were saying, well, what can I say about this? I have nothing to say. And, and I was like, what? Uh, you have so much to say. You taught me this. And you, you ended up saying, but this is such a white hole in me. Yes. So you just told me the other day that you were taught that justice didn't exist. So mm -hmm. it, it's not only something you came up with, it runs in our family. Yeah, yeah? exactly. And I'm born and was in the war in that time. Yeah. And I did really did see a lot of things. So uh, I learned that and I was, I'm happy that yeah. I learned it. And, uh, so I could really let go, yeah. but um, it is difficult yeah. but to I, let go, I, and, and people get scared about it. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed in so it's not so easy to no, work with. But I noticed in our family, uh, because your mom and dad, my yeah. grandparents, uh, uh, um, I noticed that in their home, it was also like justice is a no go. But that doesn't mean that, the, you know, my granddad, your father, was one of the leading resistance. Mm -hmm. So he didn't, but he didn't have the drive for justice. No. Nope. You know, he had the drive nope. that for me was much more in connection. Can you recognize that? Yeah. He was very, very clear about that he wanted to save some people, that he knew if no one did something then you will die yeah you will be sent to the to germany yeah, yeah, yeah. or shot on yeah. the place yeah. and uh, 
he wants to help that. I also and that know. is in my whole, his sibling also did a lot of this kind of thing. Not, uh, I don't know if he was resistant people, but they did it in, in other places. Yeah. So, you know, I remember him always telling me, not about justice, but he always said, the world is not bad because of bad people. The world is bad because all the the people who do nothing. Yeah. Uh, and that was, in my experience, his drive. Yeah. So now when I'm sitting with you here, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's also an opportunity for me to say thank you, mm -hmm. because really teaching me this from within my body mm -hmm. and the way of going out in the world and being able uh, uh, to not being seduced to the illusion of justice mm. had really helped me in my strength of making choices mm. and being able to deal with the consequences, letting go, grieving, yeah. and moving on to my goals. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank that you. have been important. When I look like this, then I think, yeah, it probably also make you to go into all the fear zone. So. Maybe. <laughs> or maybe that is granddad coming yes. in playing a little here. I think so. <laughs> uh, you know, because, yeah. you know, he was your dad, but I also adored him, you know. So yeah. he probably yeah. also have something. I think You're so. Not, we are not free of our ancestors. So, uh, that was, of course, frightening when yeah. I was sitting, knowing you must be out there and yeah. in the worst zone. Yeah. Now I'm here with you. <laughs> <laughs> I have another question I, uh, and another wondering uh, uh, that I would like us to talk a little about uh, and uh, uh, that is about uh, being a grown up. Uh, yeah. You and I have talked a lot about that and uh, uh, really turned it around when we have ti uh, time. What, what does it really, it's typical me, I always ask this question, what does it really mean <laughs> what to does be? It really mean? Yeah, yeah. What does love really mean? But now yeah. also, what does it really mean uh, to be a grown up? Yeah. And in body dynamics perspective, how would you explain that? I, that, that I would say that um, it is important to develop of a serving ego. Yeah. But not only in what we normally will call an observing ego, it had to be a little higher, an ego that really are able to register what's going on in your body, yeah. in your emotions, yeah. but also register from the knowledge we have, what age is coming up in that time. In, and in that time, what do you mean? That, that is time? the character structure. Okay. In, when you have this problem. Can I ask something? So yeah. what, are, what are you saying? So it's important that you are able to observe your inner sensation, inner your emotion, sensation. but also having an observant ego on your own behavior understanding, yeah. and understanding. Yeah. Yeah. And registrate what, uh, what happened when I react to you. Yeah. Not only when you react to me, it's not only look inside, it is no. looking outside and inside at the same time. So it also means that the ability to also being able to see what's going on yeah. in the other person, yeah. in me, and in the interconnection, in the relationship. Can you totally say that? Totally true. Yeah. And now we have, we, in this time, we're talking a lot about mirroring. Yeah. I've talked about that before. Yeah. It was proved. Uh, so um, we're mirroring other yeah. people. So we know a lot, but if we can think we mirror, when we go over and we nearly take the other person's uh, posture yeah. in small degrees into ourselves, so we really can mirror them. Yeah. And there we also sense the emotions. Yeah. But if we cannot separate it from who I am, then we're stuck. That will also mean that we don't really uh, understand. We don't, we don't understand. We are mirroring. We are no. just merging. Huh? If, then we merge yeah. instead. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And a lot of people do that. And yeah. then they say, this person take my energy or yeah. this person take my joy or yeah. no one can do that because it's inside you. Yeah. But uh, you can feel it like that. So you can have that experience. And the experience and yeah. then you get that fantasy, that illusion yeah. that this happened. One of the things we often talk about that I'm also very passionate about is for me that when we grow, we grow up in body dynamic, we call it character structure yeah. or, de or the developmental stages. The horizontal yeah. level, yeah. And one of the things that is important is that we can learn to separate ourselves from a structure. Yes, we are not that structure. No. We, Could you give some examples? Uh, you know, we talked about yeah, the need. If I'm very, very angry, yeah. and I can sense it is near, it is coming from uh, earlier, a little child in a little child inside me. Yeah. Then I know, but I am not that child. No. I'm more. I'm different. So I had to look at what is going on here? Yeah. What is it that I don't like? And again, to be rid of anger, you had to say what you don't want, but you also had to say what you want, want. or you will not get rid of it. So and if I could say it in another way and going back to the character structure, like we talked about it a couple of days ago, where I was like saying, I really appreciate when I can sense or when I can meet people that is able to separate between who, who I am and what's my need. What? So if I reach out for a need yeah. and I get a no, that I do not th think about it as now you're rejecting me, but exactly. you are saying no to a need. Yeah. And you could do that with each of uh, the, have to learn that with each of our character structure, exactly. isn't it? That's yeah. true. Yeah. And uh, so then in some way we go into, um, you, now you say reaching out, eh? yeah. we go into the other perspective. We have, we have the character structure, yeah. horizontally, but we also have what we call ego function. Yeah. That's vertical. Yeah. And the ego function is, is in some way all the problem we meet. Uh, when we have a client, uh, it could be. Um, what do you mean, all the problems? Yes, it means I cannot. Uh, I cannot get friends. Yeah. I cannot reach out and get friends. I cannot reach but out and check in. Yeah. I also have a person, and on the body map that we make with a lot of muscle, we test. Then I could see that there was resources to do it. Yeah. But there was no resources to say stop. No. Or to keep her boundary. Yeah. So that means when she get a friend, the friend could move in in her house and all things. As if there was, so it was in some way a very good uh, way to support herself that you so, don't reach too much out. So you could say this person was not able to regulate her social exactly. contact. Exactly. Uh, and she yeah. was not able to contain yeah. her own emotion about it. So she suppressed it yeah. instead. So she didn't recognize it, but suppressed it yeah. instead of sensing it and thinking, what can I do here? And Sometimes you had to say, okay, right now I cannot do something. Yeah. But now I know what to do next time. <laughs> so when you say that, it makes me think that, you know, we, we all have coding system of defense system or yes. shields. So what, what I'm hearing is that my ability or anybody else's ability to be able to separate their needs from their person. I am Dita who have needs. Yeah. I am Dita who have impulse. I'm Dita who have power. But to be able to do that, yeah. I need to go and look at uh, uh, in body dynamic what we call the 11 eco functions. Yes. So you I do. need to look at 
yeah. uh, to be able to do that? Can I get better centering, boundary, yes. interpersonal Personal skills? skills and so on. Yeah. yeah. So these two things have to coexist. The, the, yeah, they move into each other in yeah. some way. You can have a person. I or uh, come in a client and tell about that you cannot uh, really uh, get new friends. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, then, then I'm saying, but where is it possible for you to get new friends? Yeah. So in some way, I start to work with the grown-up, yeah. the ego aspect, we are called, and then I go down and work with the next table. There's so now I'm going to stop you because now you move into something really interesting. We also have in yes. dynamics. So we have the character structure, yes. and then we have the ego function coming in. Yeah. Uh, but and then we have something uh, uh, that is in the middle that we yes. are also calling the ego aspect. aspect. So the, just to say, so, you know, pe people, yes. so you out there can have a sense about this. I like to say that the uh, ego aspects, this is about body ego. Body ego. This is about individual ego. Yes. This is about our role egos. Yeah. And I was surprised how many roles we have during oh, a day. We have a lot uh, of and then we also have uh, uh, the integrated ego. Exactly. Uh, uh, and uh, we are not really able either to be grown up before we can take the body into the individual ego, fill these two things with different roles. Yes. So we can dance and integrate it together. We Is can dance correct? and we can choose. Choose, yeah. And we can choose in different situations to stay in the one or to stay in the other. Let us say, give it a short example. Yes, please. Um, I've just lost one of my best friends. And of course, I, I was in grief. It was, he was too young. And, <coughs> yeah, I miss yeah. him. But I had to, to go out and speak. Make a speech and people say, you cannot do that. Say, of course yeah, I can. Because I can choose to be in the other aspect of me. Yeah. And then I can choose in the morning to take a walk and look at all the beauty in the world. Yeah. So I take some energy in and then I can go out and do it. It don't mean that the grief disappear. It don't mean that I suppress it. It is inside, but I can contain it. What's really interesting, what you're saying here, is uh, then I go out and take a walk. So yeah. what I'm hearing is that the ability uh, to do different roles without getting overwhelmed by the yes. individual ego really lies in your body capacity. Cap capacity, capacity in yes. your body ego. Is that correct understood? Yes, it is. Yeah. Absolutely. I, so I take a walk. Some had to take a bike, some others running, yeah. and some make some good food. Yeah. It, it, there's no uh, right way to oh. do it, but there is a right way for you to do it. But it's all it's about where you get it in. So it's all about landing. Exactly. in the body so yeah. you can yeah. through the body take a role that can take yeah. care of the individual exactly. ego for yeah. example yeah. 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 yeah and you I know uh, I'm a character structure worker in body dynamic I know I'm known for that but I know when you work with people you very often start within the ego aspect the body yes. ego role ego um, why why is that what is it you Think, get, or touch there. Hmm. The most important. Maybe I can learn something here. Yeah. The most important <laughs> is that uh, I'm really careful that people don't go too fast uh, in and regress. Yeah. Because then you just stay regress. Yeah. You have nothing. Uh, you can make a new new decision, but you have nothing around them where they can handle it, where they can use it, where they can train it. 
If you have no friends? Are you not only foundation in yourself, but also a foundation in your in, actual in your, life? In yeah? Where you are. Yeah. I often are saying with people, they say, no, I'm uh, alone and I, have don't, I don't need anyone. She said. Then I look at them and say, do you make all your clothes cells? Do you grow all your vegetable cells? Uh, and they look at me and say, we all need someone else. You yeah. go to the butcher, to the, or to the vegetable <coughs> person. Yeah. So what kind of contact do you have there? Yeah. So even this is a very superficial contact. Yeah. It is a very important contact to sense your ground and to sense where you're belonging. Well, I just, I just sit with the person uh, some months ago where the problem really was that she didn't have a network. And I, uh, when we looked at it, we found out that she didn't have a network because she was not able to small talk. Exactly. And, 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 you know, we have a tendency often to uh, be a little arrogant around small talking is bad, it's not really. Uh, but at the same time, uh, small talking is goal to create good okay. networking. Huh? Uh, when I was young, we, the Gestalt come to Denmark. Yeah. And it, it was really saying small talk, out. <laughs> that was the old-fashioned Gestalt. Huh? That was, yeah, yeah, the old-fashioned yeah. Gestalt. Yes, yeah. true. Thank you. So, so people are thinking, ah, that's nothing. Yeah. But in reality, it's a very important. Yeah. So I could work with that aspect. So where, with which ego state do we start to develop small talk? When, when does it start? What, character structure or ego state? Well, uh, ego state slash okay. character structure. Uh, uh, in the role ego. So it doesn't come before uh, will structure? Uh, it even are not in the will structure. Huh? No? In the ending of will structure, it, there can be a little, but it is starting to come in in the love sexuality structure mm -hmm. and in the opinion and solidarity performance, not before. So when you have a little child who go blah, 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 blah. That's bubbling. <laughs> that's bubbling. <laughs> that's not small talk. <laughs> okay, but that's nice to get a differentiation yes. because you meet people. Blah, 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 blah. That is... Uh, you know, the baby start to do that. Yes. That is to be able to use the thong yeah. and the tone and make differentiation. So if yeah. you don't do that, then you will not be able to talk. No. But these kids already have a lot of uh, words in, yeah. their, in their mind. I just, I think it's interesting because uh, a lot of adult people uh, perceive small talk as blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I think mm. there is some people who got stuck in the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, and it's not really small talk. That's and true. And some people can really small That's talk. That's true. Yeah? And uh, what we call need structure. Yeah. The first early structure after you boning. Yeah. They have that, can have that tendency. So yeah. when you have a client uh, coming into you and, and the merging in the energy and the blah, 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 they talk about this little things and, oh, uh, it was together with my aunt and my aunt was also together, blah, 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 and they go like that, but they don't really say anything. Mm -hmm. Then it's also a mixture with what we call autonomy, isn't it? And no, the no? autonomy will not do that. No? No. The autonomy is talking... If you have a problem and you start to touch into it, yeah. then you change the way. The change direction. It change direction yeah. with the talk. Okay. And it's totally different. Yeah. Okay. It's more advanced. It's a little more advanced. Yeah, I, I can, when they grow up, big, because then they have other capacity, capacity in the brain. Yeah. But I can tell I had a, little 
girl in uh, USA and I only come every second month. So there was a month I was coming and every time I come to close her problem, uh, she left. Left so, the room? Or? No, she didn't leave the room. But huh? she go over and play with the, with the toys or uh, yeah. rolling around on the floor or something. Yeah. And then next time I was coming, as soon as I come to close, then he say, I wasn't Sue. I do know what. <laughs> oh, look at that bird. <laughs> so she was trying to move you. Move yeah. me and my interest in another direction. So if I go back to if you have an adult, uh, if you have an adult mm. person mm. who really stuck in the lack of ability to own her or his own grown-up adulthood, because yeah. for me that it that takes a lot, it gives a lot of freedom. Yeah. a lot of freedom yeah, and have this uh, separation yeah. so so you start by uh, working with the ego uh, aspect and you start yeah. by working with trying to train with, with the, the client, adult there's really a lot of need you need to start to work with that yeah but, but in the same time you're working with that you you use it in the ego aspect so you work with, with the Upper part of the ego aspect, yeah. the how role ego. Do, yeah. How are you doing that? I will say to to this person, ah, we need to shorten it. Yeah. When you come in, else the whole time is gone, and yeah. we have not done something. So I start to make them aware. Now it's starting again. Now we stop. Yeah. Okay, we have now disagreement. Yeah. And then I say, why did you talk about this to me? Yeah. How is it inside you? Yeah. I use what we call the body nod. The body, and yeah. Again and again and again. Sensing so, so their you're own teaching body. them a frame yeah. outside that they also can use inside. They to give themselves them insight. Inside. Yeah. yeah. And then slowly, so you can see. I use a lot their thought, yeah, their decision, yeah, of coming to me, yeah, and so on. And then when they slowly learn some of that, then you could start to more work with what happened when you didn't get anything. So it, for me, it's interesting because what I'm hearing is you, in fact, before you really get into the body, you start with a cognitive frame. Yes. And then you take them from there into themselves and yes. then up again. Then I say, do you recognize what happened in your body? Yeah. Yeah. See, now you use your hands, so yeah, I will yeah, show yeah. that. But a lot of time what happened in them is the, the collapse. Yeah. Like the early one of the special say, Hey, the, now is how that, do you sense that right now? Yeah. In the beginning, some of them cannot sense. So then we work like move, a physical training. Movement. Move. Can you sense the muscle inside? You say no. Okay. Put your hand here. Do this movement and I hold so it is huh? resistant. Can you sense this muscle shorten huh? from outside? And then when that has happened, you can go from inside. And so then pull it. Do you put more, uh, when you start working with that, because you know some muscles mm -hmm. become conscious in need and exactly, some in will yeah. and autonomy or whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and the same goes with the eco function. So when you start working with yeah. creating that consciousness in a person, are you focused then mostly on the eco function or on the character structure? Or does that depend on the contract exactly yeah. it depends on the person yeah because if it's a person that really don't have a lot of resources yeah then I will look at the body map and I will choose one I can see there's resources in yeah because I don't want to bring them into a lot of emotion and regression no so I use one of them and then my voice will yeah. change like a teacher voice yeah, and uh, and we play yeah. in that way. So what you are, what what you are really saying is, 
that I also recognize in, in our system is our focus of building resources up more exactly. than of breaking down defenses. A lot like, right? uh, I'm very, uh, you know, I'm very, I have a lot of inspiration for special two when I was three. When yeah. I was very young, it, it was um, Vygotsky. And he talked about the zone. The closest developmental zone. Exactly. Huh. And uh, then I was uh, in uh, Erik Eriksson. Yeah. And he put talk, even with small kids, yeah. uh, to build resources up and yeah. get their fantasy and talk about fantasy yeah. and yeah. so on and bring them yeah. into it. And then I was uh, in in uh, Conrad Lorenz. In Conrad Lorenz, an animal psychology. And he was psychology. the first yeah. really uh, animal psychologist. Psychology, yeah. Paolo was the same time, but he stressed the animal. So yeah. in some way he worked more with... Trauma? With, with trauma. Yeah. But, but uh, Conrad Lorenz worked with with the animal as it was the, 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 the resources in the, the animal resources the development in the animal in the, yeah. yeah yeah so i so I that's also thought, the focus when you work with clients exactly yeah and what has been yeah. the focus yeah. it's so important but uh, back thing, to be a grown up, <laughs> huh? It's to be go back to being a yeah, grown up. Yeah, but that is part of being a grown it up. It is huh? part. Yeah, but it is really you. You able to contain yourself. Yeah, you're able to look at your own emotions yeah. and actions, movements, and you're able to to look at in the same time what's going on between you and the person you're together with. Yeah. So all this. Yeah. And when you are that unable to contain yourself. Yeah. Then you also really start to need to look at what kind of spirituality are you drawing to. Yeah. Because then that is starting to be able to come in to your body. And for me there, uh, bringing it for one moment back to the justice or choices yes. and consequences, that I see that that is also getting into the ability to let go of your parents yes. and taking ownership of your own responsibility yes. for the choices you made even growing up. Yeah. Conscious or no conscious. Is that I, a part of it too? Yes, it is. Absolutely. I work a lot with people that have a lot of grief. Yeah. When the parents die and ask, how old was they? 94. <laughs> and inside me, I'm thinking, what? <laughs> but I know it is like that. Yeah. So then I know there's something they have not done. They have not letting go of the, or There's something seen, they have not yeah. letting go or the opposite. Yeah. There's something they have never taken Take it in. in. Yeah. Because every time we together with other people, we learn from them. Yeah. But what we learn, we own. Yeah. So a lot of people don't really use it because it belonged to that person. We could do it together with that person, not else. Yeah. And then when you don't own it, I'm saying if you really want to honor your, the one you grieve about, yeah. then you really take it in. Take what in? Uh, what you got from them. Yeah. All small behaviors. It yeah. could be begging bread. It could be... Uh, go out in the nature and take food uh, uh, and uh, green and it can be uh, go in uh, exhibitions it could be art, many th it could be many all things, things. Yeah. but you had to take it in and you had to sense it where is it what yeah. where do you use it where could you use it more or where could you reach out for others exactly yeah, yeah. so it doesn't 
become in and an then the grief, attachment that uh, yeah. only can happen here. Yeah. yeah. Then the grief disappears. Yeah. Not means that you don't miss them. No. Nope. You can miss them the rest of your life. And you can have that kind of feeling inside, but it is not grief you that's heavy. Yeah. You disappear, you drown in. So you don't fall into this heaviness or, no. uh, or uh, deep no. uh, yeah. sadness or longing or... Longing is it, but not longing in a way where the longing own you instead yeah, of uh, you. It is your longingness, and, but you not the longingness. Yeah. That's also what I mean. It's yeah. like yeah. Uh, take take it with you uh, and uh, yeah. not leave it out there. Yeah. yeah. So that's also a part of the ability to be an adult. Yeah. Isn't it important, in your opinion? This is, of course, an opinion, but isn't it important, in your opinion, that you focus very much on growing up before you move into the field of spirituality? Hmm, it's a good question. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's also why I'm asking you. Yeah. I also ask your opinion. It depends of the person. There's a lot of mental person that had to go to spirituality for a time. Yeah. And they learned structure and they learned good places of spirituality. The, uh, discipline. Yeah. Discipline and all things. And when when, but then they stuck. They cannot yeah. really develop more of the spirituality. And then they come to therapy. Okay. And they're so fun to work with because they have that discipline yeah. that make it more easy to yeah. work with. Yeah. But they need to work with it yeah. before they can go further. So what I'm hearing you saying, that it's not conditioned, but it lays in what kind of developmental defenses you have to Yes, exactly. What you need People. in, in where life. Where you need to yeah, start. Yeah, yeah. And where you need to, you all need to end. Yeah. Uh, in finding your own spirituality. Yeah. Because else it is like all the, when you get high energy down, yeah. then it will go into all the places that, that you had work with, but they still is vulnerable and you will feel, oh, I'm not finished with it. Yeah. I, I have convinced you uh, in these Corona times here that we don't know how long they are. I have tried to push you and say, I think it could be a good thing that you offer up a, a Zoom weekend training uh, and uh, in the beginning you were like, yeah, no, no, no. but yeah. uh, <clears throat> I think I convinced you. Yes. I hope I did. So have you any thought of what you really want to do on uh, Zoom training like this? Yeah, I would really like people to look at choices and, and the ego aspect. Yeah. And see that ego aspect as a it is not, uh, you know, when you are in this conference and no. you work, then it is not a noisy place to work. You don't cry deeply, I said. No. But you really change a lot yeah. when working with it. So you want to work with the ego aspects and choices yeah, and consequences. Yeah, that could be fun to make people be, yeah. really clear about that and able to work with that and slowly change that because that is one of the very important way also to be a grown up. So I hope that you will tell me sooner or later so I can say, whoa, this will soon coming up and you will. It will soon come up. Okay. You thank, thank you very much. Me, yeah. 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 Lisbeth. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you will always be my mom. Uh, uh, it's been really nice sitting here and talking with you. And uh, I think uh, that too. Yeah, and trying to deep into some of these questions. I know that we could 
sit and talk uh, for very long oh, ooh, yes. and coming around many uh, different issues but um, now I'm going to turn around uh, a little and look here and saying but for now we're going to start wrapping it up uh, for this talk and giving you a chance out there to ask some different questions uh, that we hopeful that you hopeful uh, can answer or or you <laughs> or, or me or Let together, see, uh, together. Or we can do it together and uh, see what happens so we're going to put uh, you in there or we're going to say hello to Nadine who's going to be so nice and putting out some of the questions Hi, thank everyone. you Nadine here. I, hope, I hope you can hear me so uh, I will start with uh, saying thank you for responding to where you all are writing from and listening from. Uh, I will just pass it on to Dida and Lisbeth. We have people all around, all around the world from Moscow, Greece, Denmark, Canada, Beirut, hey! Lebanon, Italy, Bulgaria, Hong Lebanon. Kong, Serbia, Brazil, Brazil, UK, United States. So wonderful to have all thank of you here. Thank you everyone. Thank whole, you everybody. It's yeah. an experience of the whole world in here when we are not able yet to go out in the whole world. So, I, uh, you have wrote me uh, some questions and I will try to collect them a little bit. Um, so, I will start with uh, Christian Costa Corta. Uh, I am interested in the justice coding system development connected with the approval in childhood. With what? Uh, yeah. So uh, uh, the justice coding system. Yeah, can, can I say something? Yeah, first? yeah. Uh, so the coding system uh, is in body dynamic, uh, particularly character structure that we are calling the will structure. Yeah. And uh, um, in in the, the will structure, we start to develop more cognitive skills. We, de we start to experience as children the world in black and white, good and bad, and in the duality. And in the Western world, or, uh, at least, that's a part that is supported by our culture a lot. And in, All the yeah, and in this culture, we are also supported about that if something bad happened to me, then they will catch the criminal and put him in prison. And now you've got justice and you need to feel good. So it's way more, uh, it's a learning about not asking what it is you need to heal your pain, but more like if you are bad, I have the right to be bad to you. If you are good, I have to be good to you. Uh, and it develops in the age between uh, uh, two, two and four years two, old. Two and four. I don't know if that was your question, uh, but at least that's how I understood it. A coding system, I can say, is in our brain. Well, the emotion is not in... Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> the emotion is not connected to the muscle because we, we develop the emotion. Yeah. So the coding system is in the brain and it is developed of the room you was in, the color, the smell, the movement you did, the body movement, the body movement you did, the thought you had, uh, the way you choose to go away from it or toward it or all that is in the coding system yeah. and when you start to use the body body is a very strong one then you will also start to to sense these different things or you will remember all the smell or so so in in a way it, uh, using the body is a way yeah. of both creating a strong coding system but it's also a way of breaking it and, and then you can come in and know or get knowledge about it and then you can make new decision. Yeah. So you okay. don't only go for that defense system. Yeah. So any other questions? Yes, let's see. 
how would you describe and help someone in psychosis? Okay, from that. Uh, how do you, how would I describe uh, and help someone in a psychosis? To psycho psychosis? Oh, <laughs> so uh, first of all, I would say that that's not really what we have talked about here today. No. Uh, and uh, uh, we have talked about a developmental principle uh, that is about uh, uh, justice. And we have talked about uh, what it is to grow up. That I think I would leave to another webinar or another Zoom workshop. I had worked a lot with... Yeah. Uh, with psychological well, psychiatry. I was working in different uh, psychiatry hospitals, and so I have worked. Just get kicked for my. You will not. You will not start to work with their psychosis. You will start again to bring them back. Can you see me? But I will again say this slowly. is not really this. What talk? No. It is more advanced. Yeah. So any other questions? So we have a question about justice. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go back to that then. Now they, there is an urge for vulnerable groups to claim for social justice. And apparently some people start claiming for justice, even though they do not feel it on a personal level. Yeah. Can you comment on that? I, How I does think social I could... justice and personal justice relate? Yeah, I think I can comment a little on that. Uh, one of the principles we have in body dynamic is mm -hmm. mutual connection and dignity. Yeah. And uh, uh, when we get hurt, uh, for whatever reason, uh, there is a tendency in this hurt, we lose some connection and we lose some of our dignity. When we, are, when we get coded into... Uh, looking justice. for justice, then it's a way of trying to deal with a pain behind, a desperation or a pain we don't know what to do about. So when you're looking at society uh, today, there is a tendency uh, to, if I lose my dignity, I need to take yours to gain mine. Uh, uh, and then use the word, this is only justice because I suffered. Now I need to make you suffer so I can feel better. This is really uh, the loop uh, uh, that I see both on an individual uh, area, but definitely in a society area when I look out in the world. The justification of hurting others because you are, we were hurt is tremendous. And I think that's also why I think it's important for all of us to look into this principle and what can we do to get out of it so we can make free choices and we are able to deal with our consequences. So maybe you have something else. No, I would say the same. Yeah. Thank you. So, yes. And I'm very passionate, have a lot of passion about it. Yeah. A, a bit more of a personal question to Lisbeth. So which impact have your former professional life had in the development of the biodynamic system? Yeah. When did you uh, realize there was a need for a different thinking when it comes to body and mind? Aha, uh -huh. four years old. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I could talk an hour about that. Yeah. But shortly I will say, I lived in a family where all emotion was allowed, but no fear. And especially because uh, if I went out of my body, so I knew what was going on. I knew what was going on in, uh, in the other room and who visiting us and so on. And I couldn't speak with anyone about it because of course they don't dare that I knew it. Uh, and I learned to not show my fear and I learned to, um, 
I also learned no justice. And I learned that from one of the worst experience, one of the worst experience I was in. You have other questions? Okay. Do it shortly so yeah. we can take more questions. So uh, it has been very important for me. I could also see when the German had to leave Denmark and walk out, I couldn't understand that people spit on them and so on. It was young guys that was frightened and sad. So I didn't have any justice for them. Well, you, if I should uh, elaborate on this question, I could, I, when I said four years old, uh, I know that many times you have said that the vision in you started with, I want to bring less, I want to create tools that can bring less fear into the world. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, uh, Didn't want fear in the world at all. <laughs> Yeah, that's well, not the best <laughs> to no. decision. And, and then uh, uh, you, this that I think is wonderful with a body dynamic. Mm -hmm. You started from a body perspective. Yes. You started your profession in the relaxation schools, yeah. and uh, uh, and later came the cognitive things. Yes. And that's, true. that's amazing because I often experience it starts here and go here, but you started. The whole the body. development from the body through the mind. Yeah. So that that's is true. also your former yeah. prof profession. And probably that's because I start to do acrobatic uh, from I was three years. Yeah, thank so you. So I could sense my body myself. Yeah. Okay. Any more? Uh, is there a way a person can learn to work with hypo and hyper muscle muscles using the body encyclopedia? <laughs> I could, I, we're not a fair area, any of us. So, uh, no, you really had to learn the more you had to learn the movements. Uh, what is this using for the movement they do? Uh, I, I would, there's I really would, a lot of learning. Maybe there's a lot of theoretical learning uh, of being able to use more dynamic for and, sure. And, and I would say that doesn't mean that it cannot be used at all. No. But, uh, you know, uh, the muscle have different tonos, uh, uh, like uh, four tonos. It's not tonos, elasticity. Okay, sorry. sorry, I get corrected here. Uh, uh, but that, uh, it means that there is some movements through the movements where yes. you can learn to work with your clients. But the preciseness, I think, uh, like with everything else, you need the training. It's a long training. Huh? Uh, there is a lot to read and a lot to train yeah. during the training, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Navadi. Where are you would, going? They, they would also like to have you uh, write a book. <laughs> <laughs> I would like her to write a book. I know she's sitting and writing a book, but what would they like her to write a book about? I get curious. Come in yes. again. Yeah. I, I will get back to that. It's yeah. a little bit higher up in the line here. Um, so a different question. How can someone have a bodily resource which is not seen in the person's way of acting. Han peger. Jeg tror, han vil have, at jeg ser på dig. Ja, du ser det over hele tiden. Now we're talking, now we are talking Danish together. Look at me. <laughs> I will repeat the question. Yeah. So, how can someone have a bodily resource which is not seen in the person's way of acting? Why isn't the resources developing into behavior? You were talking about resources, yeah. that you could feel the resources in the muscles earlier yeah. on. Uh, and why aren't these resources always that, expressing that, in behavior? That is uh, really a question I first, yeah, can you okay, answer can I that say a little? Uh, I will we, go too deep and too long. <laughs> yeah, 
uh, my, if I have to answer, is that we are so great and we are full of potential and we are full of resources. But, and we are also full of emotions and full of stories. The f we are full of the fear of being abandoned, the fear of being betrayed, the fear of, uh, and I could go on, uh, or the sadness. So there lies a potential of resources, but they, this potential is even hold back or pulled back, uh, 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 but that doesn't mean it's not there. But it means that there is defense between the bodily resource and my ability to move it. It can also be- To use it. To use it, yeah. It can also be pushed away. Mm -hmm. So you push away and you cannot really have the courage uh, to take in. Uh, that doesn't mean it's not there, but it means that your story and your fear makes a defense that takes over the resources we do have there within us. We and, have them. And there's one thing we always had to remember, and that is we develop me. this defense system yeah. to be able to take care of us in situation where we didn't know what to do else. Yeah. So defense system is our friends. Yeah. So don't break them and don't throw them away. Yeah. That's very important. But develop look them. Look at me. Ma? You want to look at her, look at me. <laughs> I have to help a little yeah, yeah, with true. the camera. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any other question? Yes. Uh, after experiencing biodynamic in a therapeutic context as a client for an extended period, what will the client encounter in terms of personal empower empowerment, growth, as it relates to their particular character structure? That was a long question. It huh? was. Can so you, what will the client, three or four questions. What yeah. will the client encounter in terms of personal empowerment and growth as it relates to their particular character structure? It totally depends on the client and the willingness uh, to work. The willingness to go out and do the different exercises, work with, with their ability to have contact and uh, to sense themselves. Uh, if they are able to do that, or we have that willingness, yeah. then it, it is less than half the time. So um, normally I will say, let us, I said when people come in and they're not psychotic or totally neurotic or so, mm, uh, then it will take a year or one and a half year. Yeah. But then I was thinking, hey, I had one that was really neurotic and didn't dare to leave the hospital and come in to me and work. Um, but he, it took two and a half years. Uh, yeah, but... W because what, he was willingness. I don't know. Was the time an issue here in the question? How long time it will take or what you will gain? I didn't quite get it. Nadine. Oh, he got free. He could go out <laughs> of the hospital. He could start yeah. to have friends again. Yeah. Uh, he could um, have fun. Yeah. Um, joke. Yeah. He have a lot of better life after. Okay. Well, Okay. Yeah. So should we ask her if she have any other questions for you or me? Yeah. Yeah. So this bit the book topic. Yeah. <laughs> that would okay. be to uh, write Look a book based, now. based on your practical use of the biodynamic system as you have experienced in your both daily life and in the therapeutic settings. Yeah. So write a book where I describe how I work with a therapeutic setting. And private life, yeah. Practical use. Practical use, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened when you get this? Uh, no, I'm laughing because uh, I'm crazy with the animal. 
and people that know me will yeah. know that like she had 18 dogs. 19, sorry. Uh, so um, uh, where we work with them also because having street dogs, you work with them. Uh, I have often trained people that want to be better parents with also talking with them about what happened with an uh, animal when the same that have happened with the child are happening. So what, what does that have to do with the book? That has to do with, <laughs> I have wrote some of it. Yeah. But, and I think that is, uh, parents say, write that, because it is like it go a lot deeper in and the understanding get more easy. So you're already writing because I know yeah, you're I'm writing, writing three books. And I also know that you are, that's one thing I know about you, Lisbeth, that it's like you, are ve you have very high demand of it has to be good enough for you. Uh, and, yeah, and precise. very precise yeah. and clear. And uh, then I have my dyslexia that means that I write in hand because I can never be fast, fast in uh, typing. typing. It's not possible when you are that dyslexic. dyslexic. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and then there had to be another one to write it. And then they had to get back to me. And then it had to be translated. And then it had to go back to me. So, it's so a big it process. is a long process. It's a big process. So, the, yeah. so is there any other questions, Nadine? Yes, from Michael yeah. Munk Jebsen. I'm curious about main differences between Biodynamic and Alexander. Uh, Lowe. Lone. Lone, Lone, yeah. yeah. The main difference between us and Lone. Biodynamic and Alexander yeah. Lone. But Lone, we come from a totally different way. Huh. I'm coming from a place where I don't want to regress people before they have resources to integrate it in their life. Yeah. And he is coming from a tradition where you go in and break the defense in the muscle and then you regress and cry and scream and so, but yeah. when you come out, you cannot use it so, go, so good. Uh, often you opinion. cannot use it because uh, you have not worked with the resources. So we're very, very different. Oh. In, we're nearly the opposite. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm not inspired of him or Reich at all. Oh. Um, what many people think. What many people yeah. think. Yeah. When I start to, to make my research about the Marshall, I had read the Reich's other books, political books, and that sexual books, that kind of books about him, but not uh, anything about his uh, development, uh, his system. No, no. Okay. That was first later. Yeah. I will also say we are, uh, Lone's theory and our theory are very different in many mm -hmm. ways. Yeah. Even the way uh, we look at the uh, development of status. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, uh, of course, I have read some of the letters that come out. This, I, I don't remember how many years after his death. And uh, in some of that, he, he's writing, I think we work too hard, too rough. Yeah. And if I was going to do it today, I will do it different. Yeah. Something like that is not his words. Okay. Thank you. Any other question? Is spirituality important regarding to seeking happiness? How would someone seek spirituality? <laughs> well, that's you. <laughs> Is it me? Yeah. Uh, okay, here we you, you, That's what I told me, but you uh, were so good okay. to describe it. Um, I, I think, I think, and I know that we in body dynamic think that spirituality is very, very important. Yeah. And of course, we have a body uh, and uh, we have our coding system. And uh, um, uh, so we also have different ways of being attracted or moved in uh, to the spirit world. I think one of the things 
we have to be careful with is not trying to define another person's spiritual path. Uh, I think that's really dangerous. Uh, I think Buddha said, if you meet Buddha on the way, kill him. Yes. Uh, um, not being a Buddhist, but that it's really important that we go there, uh, that we expand into there, and that we don't use it as an escape. So f for us, spirituality is also, can I take it into my body? Can I, can, I t can I contain it? And can I live it in my daily life so it do not become a separate thing for my connection and being into this reality? This is what I would say. Yeah. I'm meditating every day and I've done many, many years. Yeah. And I'm a Buddhist. Uh, so I think spirituality is really, really important. Uh, but what I also like that is the differences we have had in the biodynamic uh, of um, all yeah. kind of different uh, religion and uh, shamanism, spiritual also. traditions. Uh, and but nearly every of us as teacher have that. Yeah. But they own. Do you have any other question, Nadine? Yes, I want to remember to bring Julie Jenner's question. Yeah. Um, so how do you help a client who was scapegoated as the carrier for the unwanted feelings of the family who is abused and feels unwanted and dislocated from belonging? Yeah. There was two questions. Well, scapegoated is normally, was it scapegoated in the family? In the family. Uh, in yes. the family. Yeah. That is really a, a hard work because that is a work that takes a long time because it's really to work with the, both the family system and uh, work with being scapegoated there and uh, but first of all, to registrate, what kind of defense system do you develop? Remember, the client is sitting here in front of me. They didn't die, they didn't get psychotic, and they're able to call me and get a time. So they have a lot of resources. And try to get them to own that before you start to go further. And then, uh, Scapegoated, I like to work with that in a kind of group. It's where it, well, I also often think it's about, uh, like you say, the resources, but how did I manage? What choices did I make out of the situation I had? Exactly. Even conscious or unconscious, yeah. even the choices I might made on a bodily level and yeah. didn't even know in my thought to get through this. Yes. Uh, uh, because through these uh, choices and through sensing, whoa, I was, even I was a victim of circumstances, I kept, were able to keep, keep. my power by making different kinds of defense, defense system or choices in it. And I think that's really important to sense uh, because in there, there can lie a great fear of coming back into the connection and coming back uh, into the connection with a sense of dignity. That's true. So I will work with this issue. Yeah. yeah, and that's also the reason I say I would love to have a group around. Yes. And uh, I will you, work with them if they don't have any friends now. Yeah. these days. So the last time I worked with it, I was asking the, uh, the person to take some friends with them, at least two, yeah. when we worked. And that started a deep connection yeah. and that made it more easy for the person to take in that the here and now have more connection that he had that the, time. At that time, yeah. True. And then when we can separate that, then we are really ta have take the big step and 
then of course we can also start to work more. And I know you do that, and I know you do that by using all the muscles through the ego function. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And that's again back to the body yeah. and building up. Yeah. Yeah, and then Waking work up. with the shock in it. Eh? Yeah. And uh, the if the freezing, I will recognize. Uh, do they have the running reflex still, or it yeah. is totally disappeared? Is that get up? unconscious or falling reflex or is that unconscious yeah. and so on um, so for me I'm starting to recognize that there's something I had to be careful to take in because I don't have the physical power more mm -hmm. in the same way that I had when I was younger so well we're all getting older <laughs> yeah and I I, Even your daughter gets older, so you true. must get older. <laughs> yeah, and I know I yeah. get over the 80s, so yeah. I had to take care of myself too. Because if you are not able to go in, then you disturb again. Yeah. Physically so, also. Yeah, and that yeah. is the reason if a person is coming like that, yeah. I demand that there is someone that can be there. So you ask, so say, I, if I'm going to work with this, I need you to bring someone exactly. for the support yeah. of the physical thing. Or yeah. I send them to another good yeah. person in biodynamic that work, can work with it and still have the power. Okay. So now I'm going to turn around to you, all of you in all of the world. And uh, I'm going to say, it, I, I think it has been a pleasure for us. Yes, Even we, we got a, lit, fun. a little into some problems here around where Lisbeth was looking. Yeah. Uh, so she was looking a little... I looked at uh, Nadine. Nadine, yeah. uh, come with a question and then I forget to come back, come back and look yeah. at you. And it's okay. We're getting better and better at the, uh, in this. Hopefully, at least we are training it. Uh, we are saying thank you because you wanted to spend this one and a half hour with us today in this evening. We hope that it gave a little something and uh, I like to say that keep an eye because we will have free webinar again. Uh, maybe not with Lisbeth, maybe not with me, but we will running, we have decided to run free webinar with different kind of themes um, and of course keep an eye we have zoom workshops uh, here and there thank you very much for all thank this you. country for my heart thank you